One company that was nowhere to be found on the showroom floor at Photokina 2018 was Zeiss. However, we were invited to a special event that took place in another part of the city where we got welcomed by what seems like much of the company clamping and cheering us as we came into the main hall. Certainly a first for us in any press event that we have been to until now. During the main event, Zeiss introduced a new 40mm Batis lens, which we had a chance to play with later on as well as say hello to some old friends. This was followed by the company's main announcement of the evening, the ZX-1 full-frame compact camera, which is a completely new concept in the industry. A camera that can do it all, shoot with a large internal memory, process using a built-in version of Lightroom, and quickly share pictures online straight from the camera. After all these introductions and announcements, we had a chance to talk to a representative from Zeiss and get some more info on this new type of camera. Photokina 2018 coverage is brought to you by Manfrotto. Imagine more. We are here at an event after Photokina 2018 and I'm standing in uh, where Zeiss is uh, as a very interesting event with Petra. Hello Petra. Hi, nice and to meet you. you. Nice to meet you and you introduced a very interesting product today at the event. So what can you tell us about it? So yes, we introduced today Zeiss ZX1. Zeiss ZX1 that allows you to stay in your flow. So that's our take on the creative photography. So our interpretation is that the, the photography doesn't stop on shooting. It continues with editing. And actually it's only ready when you share your story, tell the story to, to, to the world, to your friends, to your audience. Okay, and let's talk a bit about the more technical aspects of this camera. It is a full frame camera with 37 megapixels if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it has a 37.4 uh, megapixel sensor uh, developed by size, integrated with the 35 uh, millimeter um, 2.0 uh, lens, very nicely integrated together, which is bringing the best uh, possible results out of such a full format mirrorless camera. And it also has a very interesting touch interface with a very large screen. We don't see it here, but maybe on the mirror we can yeah. see it. So, um, as I said, uh, so our our um, our take is to allow you to stay in your flow. So it meant for us as a like design principle to um, think carefully what is meaningful, what are the essentials for you to be able to create your story, to capture, to shoot, and then edit and share. Um, and that means that we have only three dials to manage the light, and all the rest of the operation happens on the multi-touch display, which is also, there are no reductions of any any kind of settings or, or, um, or use uh, functions. Okay. Uh, another question, I think that you told me before that uh, this camera basically doesn't have an SD card at all, memory card at all. So how does it uh, capture images or save images? Yeah, so we are very true to, to our design principle and here um, we again like minimize the hassle or try, want to, to help to minimize the hassle so we have a half a terabyte. 512 uh, gigabytes uh, memory card integrated, fixed in the camera, yeah. And uh, if you want to uh, basically take the images and move them to the computer, you're using what interface? So uh, we have USB-C for, um, uh, for transfer, uh, transferring the, the images as well as charging, uh, charging the, the camera. Um, but also you could uh, use via HDMI um, the, the TV to, to show your pictures or, or, or uh, edit them even. Um, so again there, uh, you know, the essentials are packed in. And surely then, as built in wireless LAN, uh, talking about the, like transferring the, the, the pictures, you know, the, we have um, a backup possibility for various uh, cloud services, okay. like Dropbox. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. We'll talk about this in a second. Uh, in terms of uh, video capabilities, this camera can shoot... 4K video. 4K video. Yeah. Uh, and what else I wanted to ask you? Uh, it has like, an internal battery which you can change, but you, as you said, you can charge it also through USB-C, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you can charge that on the, on the camera. And the important is for photographer that, again, he's not disturbed. So it's like you, you may have a second battery with you if you had a like, longer shooting session. And I think one of the most interesting announcements here was that you are actually uh, partnering with Adobe to uh, combine this camera, not just to shoot and share, but also to edit in the camera itself with Lightroom. So what can you tell me about this? Yeah, so why should uh, you know editing be a stopping place? It doesn't need to. So we have the Lightroom CC um, integrated, so it means that you can start your editing or even complete at the camera. Um, but if you wanted to continue uh, through the Adobe's um, Creative Cloud, uh, you could then just uh, continue the editing then at your home at the desktop. Okay, and in terms of the availability and maybe price, I'm not sure if you announced that. Uh, when are we going to actually see this and hold it in our hands? Early 2019, and we will uh, talk about the pricing then closer to the same start. Okay, thank you very much, Petra. Thank you, it was my pleasure.